Hello guys, as you can see I'm drawing Fallout, that can only mean one thing. Yeah, if you watch my other video you know that I was doing it while waiting for the Fallout downloads to finish. Uh, that was tremendously optimistic of me because even though I bought the disc version of the game, I still didn't have that game until Friday night, Saturday morning. I was downloading solidly from... yeah, from Tuesday when I got the game and installed the initial 5 gigs that are on the, on the disc. I was then downloading solidly all night Tuesday, all day Wednesday, all night Wednesday, all Thursday, all Friday, until very late Friday night. I think like 3am Friday night it finished, which meant I could play on Saturday. So yeah, our internet is really, really slow. Uh, we're one step up from dial-up here. It's the best we can do because we live in very, very rural countryside England. but. Eventually, apparently, we're getting broadband, like super fast broadband put in. There's a box down the road that they've literally put in the past month or so, and it has the fast internet in it. It's just in there being a tease, and we can't access it because they haven't enabled it yet. So, one day I'll be able to do all the fun things that all the normal kids do. But for now, it's a case of collecting dust while things upload. Like, I am I wanted to get this video uploaded today, which is Saturday, but by the time the YouTube uploader uploads, you're probably going to be watching it Sunday, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, so I've been playing a lot of Fallout. I haven't actually been playing as much as I would like to be. I actually already had plans to go visit my boyfriend Moose on Saturday, so by the time I got the game and was able to play it, I had to leave uh, but luckily, my friend Luke, he's, we've kind of got this thing now where if it's a big game that we both want and he's going to download it too, it works out faster for him to download the game himself and mail a copy on a USB drive to me in the post than it is for me to download the game. We did this with GTA because GTA was taking me way longer than Fallout did. It was taking me weeks to download. It took me a good week and I was like 30% done or something daft. So Luke downloaded it, sent all the files to me, and then I installed it manually that way. And I was really lucky that he did it again with Fallout, because even though I couldn't play the version that I had finally downloaded, it meant that I could take my USB to Moose's house and then go play Fallout at his. And the funny thing is that he is not a Fallout fan. He's never really enjoyed the Fallout games. I don't really know why. He usually has a pretty good opinion on video games, but he just hasn't enjoyed the Fallout series until now. Uh, so I put the game on his PC to play it myself and I said to him, give it a go, see if you like it, because it's, it's slightly different than the other games, you know, in the fact that it starts pre-war pre and things. And he's just been devouring it, he got super duper into it. He and I do Steam sharing, which basically means that if you both have enabled your PCs, uh, you can share games that one another own, provided that you're not playing a Steam game yourself at the same time. And it's worked out really well because he doesn't own Fallout himself yet, but I've been really busy either at his place or at work when I get home, which is really not something you want to have to do when all you really want to do is go home and play Fallout all day. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Fallout franchise. I've been really enjoying the few moments I have had to play. So far I'm only like level 8 or something, so I'm super new. I've just got to Diamond City, so don't worry, there's not going to be any spoilers here. But yeah, I've just, I've always been a fan. I really, it sounds really creepy to say, but I'm really, really into like nuclear war stuff. Like the Cold War is my absolute favorite thing to research. And I'm just really into the sort of atomic aesthetic and the mid-century 1950s, 1960s aesthetic in general. Like just, I love the movies, I love the fashion, I love the architecture, I love the sort of, the way society was and everything. Not not that I'm happy, you know, I'm happy that we're not in that sort of society now, but I love looking back on it. I think it's really fascinating and really, really fun. And Fallout obviously ticks all of those boxes. Plus, I love open world gaming. I just, I think it's so much more fun than linear gaming. I know you shouldn't really compare them because they're two massively different things, but I love just being able to hop into a game and do what I want. And I kind of wish that we could have like a Fallout MMO, but I know it wouldn't be anywhere near as 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 good as what I would like. Um, I've not played Elder Scrolls Online, but it's not Skyrim from what I've heard, and that kind of makes me really sad, so I haven't tried that yet, but yeah, just the open world aspect. Anyway, yeah, so I've been really enjoying Fallout, and if you're on the fence at all, get it, because you get to have a dog companion. 
which brings me on to this picture, I guess, which I haven't really spoken about at all, so that, that makes me a great art vlogger, doesn't it? This is markers on some sort of board. It's not Bristol board, it's some cartridge paper that actually isn't that great because it just washes out the markers entirely. And when drawing it, I actually found the sketching really quite simple. I had the image in my head. I really wanted to do a picture of a Fallout guy, your player, character basically, and dog meat. But the trouble is, obviously, you can make your own character the way you want to draw him or her yourself. So I didn't really want to do anyone specific. I didn't want to do my guy. So, of course, the obvious answer was to do Fault Boy. I completely forgot what Alsatians look like, and I spent most of the start of this drawing sort of wondering what their patterns were and the coat colours and if you ignore the slightly orange head I think I pretty much got him right. Of course I gave him goggles and a bandana because if you don't know you you can equip goggles and a bandana on your dog and I don't know why you wouldn't do that. So yeah I was kind of winging it with the background. I knew I wanted something very loose and messy looking because the general feel of Fallout in general is messy and dilapidated and old and tired so I wanted to go with something a bit loose like that. I'm using a colourless blender right now just to sort of make the clouds look a bit cloudy I guess. Um, I, I always use the blender to make the sky. My absolute favourite thing to paint in the whole wide world or draw with markers I guess in the whole wide world is swirly mystical night skies full of stars and things and the best way to do that is loads and loads of purples and blues and then the colourless blender forever. I'm using a weird set of markers that I picked up in Hobbycraft for cheap because they were all flesh tones. You can just see one on the side there and you can see the box on the left and they are called something. They're called, she says having found them, Twin Markers First Edition Craft, so if that doesn't fill you with confidence as to their quality, nothing will. They're okay. They're, the thing that was massively disappointing, and I meant to do a video about them, was that I bought them because they were flesh tones, because they go from porcelain, ivory, nude, rosy, sienna, and chocolate, but they're all so dark. Like, the, the lightest colour is porcelain, which you know you would imagine would be a porcelain colour and it's really really dark I think that's the colour I use for most of the background here or or the um the bricks or something so it's, I wouldn't particularly call it a very accurate colour set but yeah I guess they're good I mean they seem to blend pretty well and they don't have a brush tip at all like there's no give at all in either of the tips so I I will do another video talking about them I think because they are an alternative to Copics. You can buy them um, in Hobbycraft, which is handy, but yeah, I won't be buying any more of that brand, I don't think. Unless if I just really want miscolored markers. <laughs> but yeah, uh, mainly I've been using, as you can see, Copics and uh, Pro markers. Right now I'm using the Colorless Blender again to make the stripies on the bandana. It looks really good now, but as the markers fade, you kind of lose the effect entirely, so I had to go over it again with a white pen. But of course I've given my dog meat a red bandana and welding goggles, so it seemed right to do that. I'm just adding some shading now. I'm using cornflower blue. I didn't think it was the most accurate vault boy looking blue, but you only realise the true deficit of your colour collection when you want to draw certain things. Like I, I went all the way to CalArts in... Bristol to buy a burgundy type colour for Garnet and I just I couldn't find anything remotely the same as Garnet's skin so yeah that's gonna be fun when I try and draw a Steven Universe picture later as you can see I'm just winging it again I looked at a screenshot of Fallout to get inspiration for the background and all I saw were pylons and trees and wasteland stuff so I just kind of went for it. I didn't plan anything. I just wanted it to be, like I said, really loose, really simple. And yeah, so I think I did okay. I found like a grey... I had to go with the Copic here because I wanted something with a really fine tip. And the trouble with the Pro Markers is they, they really don't. If you want to do like really... I don't know how people do it with Pro Markers. They want really accurate line work with them because even the tiny nib is still 
too large for anything accurate, so I pulled out a random purple Copic and did the details that way. Then I'm just adding some bit more details to the to the dead tree, of which there are many in Fallout. So here's a thing that's always vaguely bugged me about Fallout, and this game is sadly no exception, but and I, I know that it's going with the whole aesthetic of the game franchise, but the bomb dropped 200 years ago in this game. In those 200 years, the place is still a bit of a tip. Like, okay, you've got power and things like that, so why don't you pick up some of the mess? I mean, there are still forks and plates just on the ground, and there are still dead, decaying cars sitting there that I'm pretty sure by now people would have sort of started rebuilding society a bit more beyond a junk, a junkyard city, or, you know, th this is a repurposed bus that now I'm using as a shop or a diner or something, but I haven't removed the dead guy from the corner, and there's still some some plates over there, and oh look, here's a stim pack that I've just randomly left here for the last 200 years. I just... I don't... I don't know. I, I, I know that's why the game looks that way, and I mean, I'm glad of it, because a pristine Fallout wouldn't really be Fallout, but... Guys, pick up your crap. It's been 200 years. It really is just time to stop dwelling and move on and rebuild a good society that doesn't revolve around terror and fear <laughs> and horrible things and plates on the road. Anyway, random tangent aside, try and get back to the art. Try and get back to the art. See, this is why I'm useless because I'm an art blogger who wants to be a game blogger and <laughs> it's just okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw lots of video game stuff which gives me the chance to rant about video games does that sound good? no seriously I will try and get better it's just that Fallout's like my new current thing um, I do kind of want to do a balance of both because I want my YouTube channel to be pretty much an extension of me which means the video games are gonna be a big part of it because that's pretty much all I do I, I draw and I play video games and that's pretty much the two state of being for me um, yeah, okay, so there was a skip here because my camera's battery decided to die and I was too impatient while it was charging to wait, so I got some pencils out and started just filling in some details that way. I wanted to use the pencils for a couple of reasons. One, I wasn't really happy with the way the markers had entirely came out on the paper that I'm using, but mainly I wanted a bit of tooth to the picture. I wanted a sort of dirtier texture, I guess because it just feels more Fallout. Fallout, like I say, it's it's dirty and rugged, and I just wanted to add that. I'm using this set of pencils called Charisma Pencils, which I bought a lifetime ago. I paid a lot of money for a whole set, and I'm actually not a huge fan. They don't blend as well as I would like, and because my set are so old now, they're all broken, the lead's completely shattered in the middle of all of them, so whenever I try and get a new one out and just sharpen it remotely, it just shatters in my hands, so I don't use them that often. I need to sort of bite the bullet and buy another set of pencils, really, but they do the job for adding highlights and details and a bit of shading here and there, and I wasn't happy at all with the blue of his of the vault suit, so I'm really glad that the the shading of the pencil really makes it pop, I think. And yeah, so that's the finished thing. I'm sorry I spoke about Fallout far more than I spoke about the art. Hopefully if you're watching it, it's because you like Fallout 2. In which case, I hope you enjoyed my rambles. Thanks for watching, guys. I will hopefully see you all soon. Goodbye.